my name is Phil Carroll. Uh, I run, I founded and run a company called LPW Technology. Uh, we develop and we supply metal powders and metal powder solutions into additive manufacturing. Our focus and our, our, our main effort is still supply and development of metal powders. That's core to what we do as a business. But we feel that a lot of the risks aren't being addressed. So the risks around how powder is used, reused, the liability of you make a part from, from used powder and it goes wrong and it goes into a service. And what we're trying to do is address those risks and help a production user go into production with this technology. So we're looking at uh, hoppers to store powders, hoppers to transport powders across the world, equipment to test powder at a customer's facilities, allowing them to understand their powder fully. And then also uh, software that manages their powder within a, within a production environment, so tracks the powder, multiple machines, multiple uh, batches of powder, different facilities. So it's trying to provide a complete environment for the powders from, from cradle to grave, and that's where the total powder management comes in. Our approach is coming from the applications um, and not from the supply of materials. So we don't st we're, not, we're not looking to supply materials just as a commodity, we, in another, another opportunity in another market. AM and additive manufacturing, laser deposition, SLM, this is core to where we have come from. We, we've, we've been students in this technology, we've done PhDs in this technology, and these are the problems we've grown up with. So I guess the challenge we set ourselves is to go off and solve those problems. Um, yes, make a bit of money on the way, but ultimately we feel if we don't solve those problems, then AM doesn't go into production. So there's a great opportunity for us, but it's, yeah, it is unique to what we do. The, the common analogy that people give is that a, any good process and product is based upon um, a stool of three legs. So you, you, you've got your, your machine of one leg, you've got your process parameters and you've got your material. So we're one of them, and then, unless the others are, are, are stable and balanced, um, then no matter how good we are, it, it won't work. But there is a flip side of saying this, no matter how good a machine is, it's still, if you put rubbish in, you're going to get rubbish out. And especially in aerospace and medical defense, that's fairly, fairly key. So the industries and the markets that people are looking at the, the, the cost and the consequences of getting it wrong far outweighs any cost savings in trying to reduce the price at this, side, this time of the maturity of the market. People often focus on the capital equipment budget. So they're saying we have, we've allocated a million euros and we're going to go and buy a machine. For they don't think about the, the powders. So they often don't have the budget, they, they often don't have the resource to examine it, to, 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 to test the laboratory, to understand it truly. But the other side of it that kind of causes an issue is you can, you can see a machine, you can touch a machine, you can see its problems and its good points and its, its strengths. You can't do that with powder, it's, just, it's, it's grey dust to the eye. So a lot of what we're trying to solve are these, these very subtle problems, and these, the, but the ones that are absolutely key and critical. There's four products, four product categories, all focused on, uh, on materials and metal powders in AM. The first is, is metal powders, and that's getting the, the powder to the customer as they need it. So LPW is uni unique in that we supply every powder that a, a metal AM user would, would require. The second thing is, as that goes through, the, uh, through their machines, how do you manage and how do you track it? So that's the software, that's the second, second product. The third product is, is how do you transport it between us and, and them? How do you transport it around their facility? That's equipment, so we, we have devices to, to ensure that, the, we call them intelligent hoppers, that will, that will track the powder globally and worldwide through our powder solve software. And then fourth and finally is, is, is test equipment. So enabling the user to truly understand the powder themselves and know when it goes out of spec and knows when there's problems. So yeah, there's, there's those four product categories. In the, in the near future, we're going to be setting up a facility in Germany to, to support our customers on the, on the continent, based in, in, in Germany and Switzerland. We've, we've already um, moved facilities in the UK to a larger uh, 2,000 square meter facility. We're going to be moving again to a, a much larger 6,000 square meter facility, all focused on the manufacture of, of powder for additive manufacturing. And then also in the US, we're going to, we're going to, we have a facility there now, we're going to increase it, we're going to put manufacturing capability in the US as well. So there is going to a lot happening over the next, let's say, the next 24 months.